Well, I spent uh, about 18 or 19 years at the uh, IMB home office trying to encourage more African-American uh, churches as well as individuals to be open to God's calling to uh, foreign missions or international missions. When you spend that much time doing something, it kind of grows on you and it becomes a part of you especially when you see the difference that it makes in the life of a church and the life of an individual. I can't tell you how many uh, individuals have uh, come to me and, and talked about how uh, much of a blessing it is for them to serve overseas. But the big thing is that it's, uh, it's a calling them from God that uh, he has given to, I believe, every church to be a part of uh, Christ uh, reaching the world with his gospel. Each of us has a part. And uh, as I said, that passion to do that comes from the Lord. It doesn't, this is not something that you can generate. Uh, just get out there and do it. And as you do it, that passion grows. When I first started talking to her about uh, going overseas as a missionary, her main reason for not wanting to do it was she said that I want my children to have what I didn't have. Uh, so she wanted to stay here and she didn't feel that they would get it living in another country, especially a country like Nigeria, the reputation that it had and so forth. But yet we felt very strongly that that was, uh, eventually that that was the place that God was leading us. And our children have confirmed that. Uh, they are both living a life of uh, service. They're active in their churches. Uh, and uh, when I have asked them on several occasions, uh, about the time they spent uh, in Nigeria. Uh, each time they said uh, they wouldn't trade it off for anything. It's one of the best things that's happened to them.